got a vacuum sealer I want to show everybody how this thing works got a button for uh, turning on the power getting it ready and some accessories to seal containers or baggies that have uh, special valves on them um, I'll turn this thing on got a setting for dry or moist food what, what happens is you get liquids in meat and this thing will suck the liquid right out of the meat and it doesn't seal the baggy good so you put it on the moist setting and it doesn't suck as hard <laughs> it doesn't take the liquid out of it and you put it on dry food for uh, normal dry foods but yeah this thing uh, it's got a roll of bags in there guys roll of bags what you do is you get it to this uh, line right here inside here and then you seal the bag and then you pull it out how long of a bag you want and cut it so I'll show you that sealing the bag there's a little handle down here that you lock and then it seals the first bag for you so you could start making your baggies and the red light is out so it should be sealed so what I'll do is come over here and unlock it Whoop. and then I can pull out this bag you can see the seal line in there guys it sealed the end of it it's kind of shiny lighting but yeah this is sealed so I pull this bag out how long of a bag I want see how long that is and you get it a little bit longer than you need so then there's a bar right here this cuts the bag guys just run that along here and it cuts you a bag. Nice baggie. Extra heavy duty bags for freezer. Keeping stuff long in the freezer fresh. So what happens is you put this inside of here. And it seals it up. Sucks all the air out and you can seal it up and then save your food in there. I'll show you one. I got a piece of meat in the freezer for... If you want to put meat or something like that in, in the um, vacuum seal bags, you just put it in the freezer uh, before you go to bed and the next day take it out of the freezer and put it in one of these and it will keep it a lot longer than the regular uh, Ziploc baggies, freezer baggies or butcher paper. So here I have a piece of old meat. It was in the freezer. I'm going to throw this away anyway. I'm just going to show you guys. It was deer meat from last year. It was in butcher paper and stuff wrapped up. So I'm just going to put it inside this baggie. And I'll show you how it seals. Oh yeah. So I got my meat. Can you see it? Oh, I got this in the baggie. So I'm going to put it in here. There's a little tray that can catch any kind of juices or anything in there somewhere. And you gotta watch, make sure you clean that little tray out if it catches any of the juices. Let's see if I can get this in here, guys. It's kind of awkward right here where it is. It's okay, I got it in there. Then I hit my seal button. Or vacuum button rather guys and what's gonna happen nothing oops okay I got it in there right I think yeah, I haven't used this thing in so long Come on, get in there boy there it's in there
Oh, I forgot I gotta push down on this little bar right here. There it goes. Now it's sealing the bag on the top. Now it released it. Ta-da! Vacuum sealed meat. That's kind of a big bag for this. I didn't need to make that big of a bag. But yeah, this bar right here, I forgot I had to push it to seal it. To suck it all out. But pretty cool man so this is all the air is out of it and it will stay a long time in the fridge you could do all kinds of stuff with this dry stuff and meat if you put it in to get it harder and uh, strawberries whatever you want you just put them in the freezer before and get them a little harder so the juice doesn't come out of the bag like this when it seals it looks good Pretty cool, man. So I'm going to do some chili and some stuff like that. Let's try some of these, guys. Brussels sprouts. I don't think freezing cabbage and Brussels sprouts is that great, but oh well, let's see. I'll lock this thing down. This little cutter over here. Cut off a tiny little piece. Lock it down and seal it. Get my little bag going. Different size bags too. They got little uh, eight inch bags, eleven inch bags, whatever. You could buy a ba uh, box of uh, bags, bags or uh, rolls of bags. Okay, this should be done. I got my seal going. I can see it sealed over here. There's a Brussels sprout bag. Cut the bag. I got a nice bag for my Brussels sprouts. buy frozen Brussels sprouts. Why not? We'll try to see what goes on. See what happens. This lasts a lot longer in here than it is wood in uh, just a regular freezer bag. So I stick my bag in here, get it ready. And I hit this bar right here. working guys it's sitting on a cookie sheet so it's vibrating it says it's sealing it right now Let's see what happens it worked vacuum sealed Brussels sprouts guys Nice. Works pretty good. So I just use one of these markers and put a date on there so I know how old they are. Should be good for about three three months or so. So these are heavy duty Ziplocs. I tried to get all the air out of this man. But you can see, you see the freezer burn in there. It's got all kinds of frost and stuff inside of there. 
this is something else I had in the freezer not long that's why I use the uh, vacuum sealer gets all the air out got some chili guys put some chili in these little bags and put them in the freezer for a couple hours you see that chili's not frozen it's not frozen I'll make a bag and put some in there and see what happens there's enough for one bowl of chili for my lunch just a little bit frozen not all the way Let's see what happens here It'll keep it fresher longer if I can get it to work so I put my little bag in there Sucking out all the air. Yeah, it looks like it worked. No juice, no, no dripping. It's sealing right now. There it goes. Yeah, bag of chili, guys. Sealed up. Ready to go. Nice. So I'll do another bag of chili. Took all the air out. Should be nice and fresh for a few weeks. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm done here. Wait a minute. I gotta try these. I'll try one of these pork chops I bought today, guys. Fresh pork chops. See these? Nice big pork chops. I'm going to try one of these. I'll just pat it dry with some paper towels. I'll just put one of these in the freezer if it works. There. Nice big pork chop. For my dinner tonight. So we'll see what happens. Get some of the liquid off of it. Vacuum seal fresh pork chop test. Let's see what happens. It's not not a lot of uh, juice and stuff on there. It should work. Let's see if I can get it in there. Looks like it worked, man. Look at that. Sealed up airtight. Fresh pork chop. So I'll put a date on here and throw it in the freezer. Alright, now I'm done. Thanks for watching.